Okay, so I'm going to use a board so that I'm always cutting away from myself and I never have to worry about cutting my fingers. This board goes up against the bottom of the table and then I push my um, piece of linoleum way up to the top. And I'm using the small uh, cutter at the end of my linoleum cutter to make sure that I can get all the tiny details first. Notice I'm always cutting away from my fingers because that linoleum cutter will cut anything that's softer than it is. So then I'm going to use a standard speedball ink. If it's a little dry, you can add a little bit of water to it because it's a water-based ink. So I'm just going to smoosh it around and make sure that it's easy to use my brayer on. So I'm going to put my brayer into the ink and just smoosh it around. And then I'm going to apply this blue ink to uh, my piece of linoleum. And I'm just keeping the paper clean and I'm going to um, transfer that ink onto a piece of paper. Right now I'm using a spoon, but you may have uh, another material to sort of push the ink into your paper and make sure that it all gets transferred. And because it's water-based ink, you can clean it up with just water and paper towel. Then you want to rinse that off and make sure that your linoleum is clean. put it back on the board and we're changing the um, actually we're going to start out with the same cutter to do the little tiny details and it can be a little tedious to do the little bits So I'm just cutting out the outline so that when I cut away the larger pieces, I don't have to worry about getting the tiny little details that are all the way around it. The end of the linoleum cutter has all the different sized cutters and kinds of cutters in it. So I'm just going to put them back away and put in a new cutter. And then I'm going to cut away all of the background. So anything that I'm cutting away with the second round is going to show up blue because I've already uh, put the blue down on the piece of paper. Anything that I cut away on the first round is going to stay white because I started with a white piece of paper, so no ink got on anything that's white. Still always cutting away from myself. That's really important. <coughs> Making the windows just a little bit larger to make sure no ink gets stuck in them. And now we're going to go into it with another round of ink. This time I'm just using a little bit of black. You can use the back of a paintbrush or whatever to uh, put the ink down on the table. Make sure you clean up after yourself because this ink will, uh, like it's water soluble, so if you left it to dry it would be reactivated by water the next time you used it. So now I'm going to apply the ink to the linoleum a second time, and this time I need to be, be really careful when I'm lining it up. Make sure that it gets on the exact same place, it registers properly. There, there we go.